we can go back into the trim of the slice and watch the action as we play it. So here's that loop again. So that can be useful sometimes to just see how things are moving around. All right, let's take a look at the possibility of cutting up a vocal. So, oh. something we could cut up there. So take a look here, hold this button down. Got the whoa going on. We're gonna go take a look at trim. And you can see this sample is, is actually pretty long. I had to zoom in just on that area. I've got that zoomed in and now I can slice that as well. I can go in the menu and I've got that sliced up to I think into 16 different different ones. All right, so we've got that vocal part programmed in here. So we got these different locks down. You can see I've taken different slices. But what you can also do is get other samples in on this track. So take a look here. You can see not just whoa anymore, but I've got this other thing called house loop loaded in on this track. So I'm only going to use two tracks here and one bar to get this pattern going here. The next note has uh, it's back to whoa. It's the fifth slice and so on. I can go into the the lock flex menu by hitting uh, any of these arrow keys. And I can go and pick up any different kind of samples that I might want to, as well as the RAM recorders in here. There's a lot of things you can do. So you can change the pitch, change all different kinds of things. But what does it sound like? Let's check it out. So that's just a little overview of doing some of the neat slice.